All right, we're going to get back to that breaking news in Waterbury. Fox News wants Angelo Bavaro is speaking with a deputy back fire chief in New Haven. And, so let's uh, listen in right now. The uh, bulk of the fire down within about a half an hour. Uh, there were uh, there was an extra company called on the box and um, displaced, I think, uh, three adults and five children. And do we know how many people in total were lived here? I believe eight in total. At, at this time, Red Cross is called in, and they're uh, they're being uh, sheltered by the Red Cross. And talking about the damage that we're seeing out here, looks very extensive. Can you just break down what we're seeing, what's going on right now inside? We well, have this 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 uh, this other side, this structure built out. So we had heavy fire extending into the third floor into the attic, and uh, heavy fire on the front side of the building. We call it the A side, going up from the second floor right up into the third and into the attic. So uh, crews made an aggressive interior attack right here on the first floor. We were able to get uh, at least three lines up and into the second floor and into the third floor. And the, uh, the attic was stubborn. It was tough getting up into there, but uh, we were able to vent it, open the roof, and, uh, and the companies were able to knock it down. And is this going to be livable at all, salvageable? Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. Highly doubtful. Um, I'm not for a while. And have you been in touch with the Avalanche Pizza and Bar Company? Uh, no, to see? That, that's been gone for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah, that's been vacant for a while. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Chief, I noticed that one of the firefighters rescued a pet. Yeah, there was a pet bird inside, and, um, and um, I don't know what company it was, but one of the firefighters handed it out, and uh, it's now back with the owner. Uh, again, there's no... Uh, no injuries. No injuries. Uh, occupants were out of the building prior to our arrival. Uh, we did receive multiple calls on it. Um, and the, uh, with an aggressive interior attack, we were able to uh, keep it from going any further. No exposures were damaged and, uh, and no injuries at this time. Any houses around that were uh, damaged at all? Due no to damage to any uh, surrounding houses. And how long do you guys expect to be on scene here? We'll probably be here... Uh, at least another hour picking up and just wetting down any hot spots, but uh, the bulk of it's over with now. Uh, companies are being released back into service. Great. And guys, if we're still in the air, we just spoke with the deputy fire chief, but I want to show off the damage that we're seeing out here. Again, no injuries, that's a good thing, but there is some very extensive damage. Deputy chief doesn't think this is going to be livable at this point. But again, the good news is that there are no injuries. Everybody was outside of this house before the chief and the fire department got on scene. So that is some good news, of course. As we get any updates, we'll continue to update you at home. But for now, reporting here, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News.